Hello and welcome to another DGCAD uh, Revit 8.1 A to Z um, training lesson here. Um, part 5 we're talking about families and now we're going to be talking about specifically window families and window families are a little trickier in the sense that they have a couple of different options and we put a few more model lines and symbol lines in windows and doors. Um, so the first thing we do when we create a window family is we start with a window template file and with that window template file we have the choice of um, starting with a window template with with trim or without trim and of course you can always open up an, an existing family and do a save as which is probably the recommended way to do more complicated windows however uh, we can do it one of of the three ways by uh, with a trim without a trim or copy an existing one and do a save as we can get the the effect what we have to do here is we we have a a sample wall that comes with the template file we form an opening in the wall an opening looks like this and then with that opening we uh we that basically cuts the hole and then what we do is we wrap the trim around depending on how we are how our our window is we wrap the trim around the opening and then the glass that is shown in light blue that is actually just an extrusion which is basically this shape right inside of here and then it's extruded out by about half an inch and it's given a material of glass okay so a couple of different ways of getting our our trim around in here um, we can do it by doing a sweep or we can do an extrusion we can take the profile of the opening like this and then we can in section we can draw a shape okay and and that shape can be then extruded around this profile and then therefore you have your opening and then you have your trim around it and then when you want to do your muntin bars inside of here same thing all that is is those are that is one um, closed um, um, lo model line work that goes all the way around here like this and it's extruded off of the glass reference plane by an inch and that's all there is to that and then we can put some constraints and some dimensions inside of here that will control it as the window gets larger and smaller okay so um, we can use sweeps or we can extrude we can just take uh, a, a, a shape that looks like this big triangle and then a smaller triangle inside of it basically the donut effect and extrude that off of the wall and also get a trimming effect so trimming can be extruded around or it can be just a donut shape that is sitting on the outside surface and is extruded out to, um, away from the wall surface okay different ways of finishing off your window you have your choice um, and inside of here is an example of an existing window with some muntin bars with some dimensions and then we have some automatic sketch dimensions we want to turn on uh, in this display in this particular window we'll have a look at that's an existing window so we have to pay attention to our reference planes of course uh, dimensions and label dimensions to parameters okay so of course we're going to use the same system of dividing up the window by giving it reference planes and dimensions and label um, it all starts with cutting an uh, cutting an opening cutting the opening in the wall and locking it to the reference plane so it all starts with and this is a tricky one because it's rounded but in normal rectangular shapes and straight line shapes what you do is you have your um, reference planes and then you cut the opening and you lock the opening to the uh, reference planes and then you label and dimension the reference planes and then all the the trimming is locked to the opening okay so the trim is locked to the opening and the opening is locked to the reference planes and the reference planes are controlled with our dimensions that have been turned into labels okay and that's how that all works and then we can change our sizes and everything updates okay so um, after we lock that to the reference planes then we build the frame and the glass and the sash etc around the opening Okay. Use materials such as glass and frame mullion materials to apply, especially glass, because then it'll make it transparent. Uh, trim by extruding uh, in the elevation or sweeping in the section, as we already mentioned. Um, we can use model lines or symbol lines. Uh, not as many symbol lines in a window, because the, usually the, 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 the extrusions provide enough information. Doors will start to see more symbol lines come in. And we'll see some symbol lines when we look at this in plan as well. 
Um, do not use the use chain to uh, have the ability to lock line. So when you sketch in your shapes um, to um, and you want to lock them, if you um, um, are are picking existing geometries and if you're going to do an extrusion around here and you use the opening as the extrusion you're, you're that's one thing but if you sketch actually um, the lines manually without picking edges then uh, you don't want to use um, the chain method because then after you draw each segment you can lock it draw the segment lock it draw the segment lock it okay more or less with a straight line so uh, just we'll see that using when and when not to use the chain and that's when you're sketching in a profile inside of here so what we're gonna do we're gonna start we're gonna do four different things here we're gonna start by uh, just creating a square window from scratch and we'll create different very various uh, types on that so we'll just flip over here to our Revit and in our Revit we'll just go and start a new family we'll go file new family and right at the top is window alphabetically and window with trim okay window just has an extra piece of trim on there if you want to start off with that I'm gonna just start with the basic window family and I'm gonna hit open starts up a new family inside of there same thing exterior and interior and of course it's more or less wall hosted comes with the flip control as well that way and uh, we just have a quick look at this and all it is is a wall, a sample wall that they have that you want to leave there and then there's a, a an opening inside of there. Now if I click on there and then I hit tab you'll notice that I can toggle between what is the opening and what is the actual wall. So if I go to this and I click on that and I say edit okay that is the um, that's the the line work that's forming that opening which is the the you know where the root what things are going to anchor to is the opening because the opening cuts the hole in the wall and then if we hang our trim and everything around this and lock it to this then we're good and then of course if we look at the say the exterior we have these um, predetermined um, reference lines in here and then we dimension them and then we can create our width and our height controls inside of there in fact if we go in I'm just gonna quit the sketch and get out of that opening okay that was the opening again click on it edit um, I can go in here in in this template file and I can go to family types and you can see it's already got some parameters inside of here okay it's got a height and it's got a width and a rough opening and a rough height okay some more information construction type so it's got some dimensional uh, parameters already created and if I check the height um, and the width oh I was just gonna say if we could change so this is type driven and we'll see how we can go in and create some new types this would be a you know a three foot by four foot uh, window so I would go in here and call this uh, you know three foot zero inches but I'm just gonna take a shortcut and say three foot by four foot and hit OK, and then now I can write out. I can start changing some numbers inside of here. But we'll finish our geometry. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, well, let's put a, a dimension on here, just like the, our rules go. And we say three feet, and click, and then hit Escape. And that didn't seem to go in. Okay, let's try that again. Click, click there, and then this one. It looks like it's already got a constraint on there, and I'm going to click on that and change that label to say width there we go okay now I'm gonna go in I'm gonna put some trim around there so that I can do this in a couple of different ways um, I'm gonna go to my um, 3d view here and I want to extrude a, a shape around there nothing too fancy so I'm gonna go in I'm gonna use my solid form and I'm going to say um, I'm gonna do a sweep a sweep means a profile along a path and the first thing it's gonna it's gonna bump me in there and gray things out and it's gonna I have two things to form the path and the profile I can't do the profile till I form the path when I do the path if I do sketch path this is where I was saying you don't want to have chain on because as you were to go in and draw these components and I should probably be in this view to do that um, if I go in here something I'm just gonna quit that for a second and quit that sweep and start this again um, I'm gonna go around first of all I want to note what plane I'm on if I go down in here let's look at these good old reference planes again okay because that's where I'll be drawing and it's the center line of the wall I just want to note that 
Okay, so let's go down to our interior side. We'll go to our in interior side. And I'm going to say solid form sweep. And I'm going to say, I'm going to start by doing a pick path. And I'm going to go around here. Now, the first line I pick is important because that's where it's going to form a little base point. Watch what happens. If I click this first, note that I'm going to get my, that, and that is where I will extrude it along there and I can even look at this in 3D and you can see that's where I'm gonna draw my section right inside of there okay so I'm gonna say finish the path that's all I need to do now I can go sketch a profile so when I sketch the profile I'm best to look from the left or the right hand side so I'm gonna say looking from the right hand side there's that point again okay and now I need to just sketch in a profile okay so I'm gonna say okay I'm gonna draw some line work maybe this is the inside well this is the inside so I'm gonna go up like this over inside has a little bit more of a ledge there click back finish the profile and then finish the sweep and then I click out look at my 3d view now I have a window with a frame around there okay and I can do a shade and then I can add some material to that. Go back to a hidden line. Okay, I'm going to use my shift middle mouse. Click that over there. Okay, at any point I want to change this, I can go into here and I can just say edit the sweep. And now what do I want to edit? The path or do I want to edit the profile? Well, actually what I'm going to do is change the opening. Okay, let's quit that. And let's actually change because... Um, I tied those to the edge of the opening so let's see what we can do here I'm gonna hit tab and I need to just get the wall opening I'm gonna to go to wireframe just to speed it up so I can see that opening I'm gonna hit my tab button until I see it say wall opening there it is click and then I'm gonna say edit that I'm gonna edit that wall opening in the interior view if I delete that, take that, move it to there, remove that one constraint. Oh, I needed that, remove that. Bring that down to there. Finish the sketch. Some elements that had to get moved away because I lost a line but now I'm gonna go back to my uh, hidden line view okay because it's driven go to my 3d view okay and then go back to uh, hidden line in here as well you can see that it's driven by the the opening in the wall okay I can click on this shape now and I can go into here perhaps go into material I can change that to be the uh, default material and I can also go in and perhaps pick a color for that hit OK hit apply hit OK hit OK okay and then maybe do a shaded view and then I'll get a little better look at that now maybe I want to put some glass in there well let's see what we can do if we click on this window as far as properties go okay oh now we need to go in and hit this I we're still in the family editor so let's just see okay we've had some materials we've taken a line out it's all being driven by the opening because it's anchored to the opening so now what I'm gonna do is see if I can flex the model a little bit here and I'm gonna say okay well uh, what happens I'm gonna make a new type and I'm gonna just call this a five foot by five foot and hit OK and I'm gonna change these to be five feet and hit apply oh reference planes are over constraint yeah okay too much on to that okay so this one is a little bit different because it's a triangle um, we'll come back and do this with the rectangular one so um, we can just cancel out of that and then um, I can click on this now let's say I want to um, you know I can just delete that if I want and then I'm back to my opening okay if I want to put uh, different shape on there I can go in now and I'm gonna go to um, do an extrusion so I'm gonna go to the, my exterior side okay and I'm gonna go in and um, 
just add some trim in here by uh, by creating an, uh, the trim around the outside. So I'm going to go in, instead of doing a sweep this time, I'm going to do an extrusion. And with the extrusion, I'm going to say lines, and I'm going to pick, and I'm going to pick here and I'm going to lock that right notice that when I'm picking I'm getting the opportunity to lock if you sketch the lines instead of picking if you sketch them you should make sure that you lock them as you put those in there okay and then what I can do now is I can go in and say okay offset by you know four inches and then I'm gonna go out here do something like that finish the sketch and oh I didn't even I should go back in there and make sure I check my extrusion uh, depth and I want that to come off of towards me so I'm gonna make that be minus uh, 1.5 inches hit OK finish the sketch and uh, uh, looks like that was a positive extrusion so let me just go back go back to my view here and check that to be uh, 1.5 inches. Hit OK, finish the sketch. Go into here. Let's go back to my reference level here. Oh, you see I'm on the wrong plane. So what happens? Let's click on this and let's say edit work plane, pick a plane, hit OK, and I'm going to pick this surface and look at that. It moves it right to the outside. Go to my 3D view we're all good the only thing is I probably need to give that a material of some form inside of here and default wall material per chance and we should maybe have that at least be something that is a different color oh I cancelled out of that um, go back to hidden line view so then I can I so that trim right there is just an extrusion and notice I moved it from one surface uh, out to the other because I not I didn't check my surface and notice that as a solid of course you can grab these and you can pull these out to do whatever you want with them right wherever there's a grip you can click on these and do what you want with that and then we can say okay you know save this uh, let's go file save as and let's just call it triangle 2 and then save it and then maybe push it out to a model load to project and then we can draw a wall in over here and then we can add a window and there's our window click on here and it tags it of course we can click on that window we can flip it look at it in 3D there's our window there okay now in this case we probably want a flip angle going the other way as well okay so we could go back into here edit family yes goes back into here now maybe we want another control on there so we'll go back to control and we'll say okay flipping that way is good we also want to be able to flip it this way okay save it go back to our model of course reload it and then now we can flip that this way as well okay so back into here quickest way into our family editor so no now, now let's go back and start a new one and let's do a rectangle one here so I'm gonna say new family and I'm gonna go back to my uh, window maybe I'll even do the window with trim this time and maybe we'll put some glazing and stuff it's got some trim on the exterior okay um, I'm going to uh, do the same thing as before I'm gonna do a uh, tab until I get my surface and then I'm going to bring that out and that uh, reference plane is uh, anchored in there for some reason so I'm not going to worry about that uh, moving that out so now what I want to do is maybe put some some glass in there so I'm going to have a look at this in 3d you can see okay there's my window opening now the first thing maybe I do want before I add some glasses create some different types I'm gonna go back into here again and I can say okay you know this is a uh, three by four like I was gonna do before three foot by four foot and then hit okay and then I can say new and I'll call this you know a five foot by five foot and then the five by five I'll change this to be five feet and this to be five feet move it over to the side hit apply 
I'm going to see it change sizes again back in here four feet by four feet anything you want and this is basically you're creating your types and then everything gets driven by that okay and now we can go in and maybe add some glass so I'm gonna say okay uh, let's do this from the interior side and all I'm gonna do is an extrusion and now again when I do sketch if I do sketching here I wanna go here and I want to lock it right out you see I don't get a chance to lock it and maybe there's a trick to it that I don't know so the thing is if you are gonna sketch lines instead of picking turn the chain off that's what I'm experiencing and then from here you can have an opportunity to lock all your lines because of course everything is going to get driven by the width I'm going to right click and go into view properties here and go into visibility annotation automatic sketch lines hit OK and hit OK I'm just checking on something there. So now I've got that, and now I want to, you know, all, all I need to do is that's going to be my glass. Well, actually, that's right up against the opening, but that's fine. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to say, well, what's my extrusion? It's going to be, you know, uh, like 0.5 of an inch, and hit OK, and then finish that sketch. Okay, and look at that in 3D. Now, where is that? Oh, you see, again, I think I've got it on the wrong surface. Great. So then again, the nice thing is I can click on there, uh, edit, and then pick the plane, hit OK, and I can click on there, and it'll move my glass into there. Okay. Now I can click on that object, and I can go into here, and I can say, oh, materials, you are glass, hit OK and OK. And then when I do my shade, I can see that I've got glass in there. Okay. Swivel that around. Okay. Now, if you want to do muntins, I'm going to open up another drawing and show you one that has a little more uh, complete um, set of muntins for us. And let's just have a look back at our notes. Okay, so we had a look at uh, just creating a, a straight uh, square window and some different types. And then we made our triangular uh, triangle window, and it wasn't uh, updating according to our sizes. So I'm just going to go back here, and I've uh, just paused and done a bit of cleanup on that. And what had happened when I originally created this um, opening is that I got a bit sloppy and I didn't clean up the uh, end but uh, just to kind of go back to that into our triangle window that we did our sweep around and we basically uh, made a point at the top we're gonna go into our family types here now and we can type in um, five feet for a height and four feet for a width and then hit apply and we'll see that that window will in fact update because it's tied now I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna delete that sweep for a second and I'm gonna go and look at my exterior and we can see that when we started out with that triangular window that or rectangular window um, what I did was um, erase the top line and then I took the two lines that were here and then I dragged them into this point and I wasn't uh, I had dragged one in and it wasn't sitting on this reference plane that was my problem there so I've gone back and tidied that up and made sure that when you start with a rectangle okay if you want to get rid of one or get an odd shape delete that upper line drag it over and make sure you snap nicely to these intersections that are on here okay and I'm just gonna undo back to get my frame back and go back to my hidden line view by typing HL going into here and again demonstrating that you can go in change your type parameters now I can go inside of here and I can type new and call this a a 4 by 5 and then hit OK and then make another one you know type 2 and give it a different number and then I can change the numbers inside of here to be 5 feet hit enter and hit apply and then of course I've got a type 1 that looks like this and I've got a type 2 that looks like that okay depending on how how you want to do that window so yes you can control um, triangular shapes with the same um, reference planes so next I'm just going to create a quick uh, rounded uh, window family so I'm just going to start a new family file new family and I'm going to use my standard window with no trim and hit OK and then once I go inside of here I'm gonna to go to my interior side 
So I'll have a look at the interior. And then I'm going to go in. I'm going to make my wall a little bit bigger here. Give myself a little bit of room. Okay. This one's not going to have any big constraints as far as um, I'm going to hover over here, make sure it says cut plane down in here. You can see it says cut opening. Click on there and hit edit. And now this time I'm going to delete this. And I'm going to take this object and I'm going to uh, I'm going to take these. Well, I can um, let me just take this and bring this down to here, for instance. Bring this down here, and we'll see that lock in like that. Okay, and then I can go in now, and I can draw some line work, and I can make it an arc, it goes from here to here, and then maybe up to there. However, I want. And then I can say finish my sketch on that. It's going to create a new opening. Okay, again, that's all I wanted at that point was my opening. Okay, now let's click on, let's move that over to the side and let's check something here. Let's see if we change our width to be five feet. It makes our window wider. Okay, so there's a, and then our height I don't think is going to work in this case because it's not locked into that. But our width is going to work. So we can again change that back to be three feet, hit apply, hit OK. And then now we're off to the races with making our trim. Now I've ex my experience has shown me that when you want to do trimming around rounded surfaces, when we go in and do our, ex our sweep here, okay, is that when we do our path, I'm finding that when you do pick path and you pick these lines, it, it doesn't want to complete the, uh, the sweep. Okay, you can try that yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead of doing pick path, I'm going to sketch the path. And I'm going to make sure my chain is off because I'm going to want to lock this as I go. Okay, lock it all. And those look good. Up to here. Lock that to there. And now I'm going to do an arc. That goes from here to here and up to there and all my locks seem to be on it and I'm going to hit click out and hit escape okay that's the path for my sweep and notice I picked this line first so I'm gonna have to form my extrusion from the top view instead of normally if I would have picked this drawn this line first I would draw my extrusion this way so I want to go into this view when I draw my extrusion because it's perpendicular to that bead right there. So I'm going to say okay now I'm going to go in and I'm going to finish the path. Okay now I'm going to sketch the profile. Okay and the profile is positioned there and that's where it's cutting I guess because of the cut plane with the arch. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to say okay and this is going and this time I can turn my chain on and I can say this is the you know the shape that I want maybe very thin sleek on one side over to here back to there escape finish the profile finish the sweep go to my 3d view and there's my window okay with that okay now I might want to put some glazing on can I click on this and isolate can I uh, hide that object Perfect. I can hide it temporarily. Now I can draw my glass. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to say OK. I'm going to set my reference plane. So I'm going to go tools and I'm going to go work plane, set work plane, pick the work plane and I'm going to pick here. And I'm going to look from the interior and now I need to draw my glass. Oh, I'm going to have to go. I'm going to grab this guy and hide it again in that particular view. Now I'm just drawing a sheet of glass which sits in there. Actually I probably need to, I don't need to do that because the glass sits inside of that uh, inside of that shape. So let me just go back to my 3D view here again. Take that back off. Oh it's just because I have a great big thick frame on there that's why. Okay so that's fine. Let's go to my interior and now all I have to do to draw my glass in here is again do an extrusion and this is where I'm gonna say pick and I'm gonna go one, two, oh I should have locked that first one. Forgot to lock it. Lock them all. And then oops, let's check this again. One, let's say 0.5 of an inch in that opening. And what else can we do? Extrusion properties. Can we set our material in here while we're at it? 
glass. Hit OK, hit OK, finish the extrusion, go to my 3D view, do a shade, and there's my glass. Okay, so you can do rounded one again, sketch the shape of the profile for rounded ones rather than pick the lines. You might have a little better luck when you do that. Okay, now we're just going to go in and open up. A, um, I'm going to go into a, 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 re, a normal project, so I'm going to go and publish this to a project. I'm just going to say, you know, to that project is fine, and I want to have a look at the muntins, okay? So I'm going to bring in a window here because I just happened. The easiest way to edit a window is bring one in in a normal project, and then I can say I want to bring in, uh, oh, okay, I'm going to have to pick load. And then from load, I'm going to go to windows. I'm going to load a window into my project, and I want one that has some muntins on it. So I'm going to click until I see the, there it is right there, and I'm going to hit open. We'll have a quick look at this window. And this is about probably as tricky as it's going to get or complicated with dimensions. And I can click on that window and place it. Okay, and then I can go click on it and say edit family, yes. Kind of a sneaky way of opening up a family. And then inside of here I can look at this and that's fine. And I have my views like I normally do, my floor plans, my elevations. Okay, elevational view starts to show you some of the constraints. Trim width, exterior, trim width, interior things like that okay and then you can click those muntins all that is is an extrusion of that shape and again you can drag these out you probably wouldn't want to but all that is 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 that if I go into edit that those muntins you can see that all it is is an outer perimeter line and then all these little interior lines and you will and and then those are driven by these reference planes down in here and if you type in VG you'll also notice in this one that it has automatic sketch dimensions turned off I'm gonna hit OK and you're gonna see, see a whole bunch of different dimensions okay if you wanna it, if things start to get too busy change your scale to be something like you know six inches equals a foot and you'll see those dimensions get a bit smaller maybe even go back and change it to be this one okay it'll change the scale of them so there you can start to see that you know how these are all controlled with the equals and dimensioned off of these center lines so it's a bit tricky to try to get these in and then those center lines are driven by these down in here which are equal which are tied to the outside ones again and maybe quit that and then we can again see inside of this particular family if we look at it we've got lots of different uh, dimensions height trim projection trim um, exterior width, interior, window width, window height, rough width. So all these parameters are again um, created and using materials and then there's also different types inside of here and all we'd have to do is go in here now and say new and then say new type give it a description of some dimensions and then go change that number in the width and height and you'd have a new type for that particular window. So this one is one that's a bit busier and um, as I noted typing in VG and then turning on the automatic sketch dimensions you'll start to see a little bit more as far as like detail goes inside of uh, this family now you won't see that right here you'll see more if you go actually and edit that extrusion okay I'm gonna quit that okay so this is an extrusion and then this is a trim extrusion let's edit that and we can see that all that is is again is a donut right it's got outside lines and then it's got inside lines and then it's extruded out by a thickness of you know uh, three and three quarters of an inch starting at three inches off of the work plane so it doesn't always have to be on the work plane you can see these are extruded off of the work plane which might be the center line when they were created okay quit sketch on that so you can always insert a window into your drawing and then go in and and take that do a save as file save as and modify it make your own play around with it again we can see inside of here it's got some model lines as well as um, these are our actual you can see it says extrusion extrusion but inside of here you'll see there's some symbol lines which are just lines that are drawn in that are only viewed when you view it in plan view you won't see that symbol line when you go in here so we've been drawing all more or less model lines 
and symbol lines are line work. For instance, if this was an overhead door and you wanted to show a dashed line up here, when you look at it from the top view, we'll see that when we get to doors, that you would then draw symbol lines, which are only viewed perpendicular to that. We've got our control options inside of here. And we can actually put in some model text and stuff and labels inside of here. Again, model text will show up in 3D in all different views. We'll talk a little bit more about all the different types of, so far we've been doing sweeps and extrusions. We haven't been doing any blends or, or revolutions at this point. And then voids are exactly the same thing except for it is negative space instead of solid space. So we can get in and do that as well. And that concludes our lesson 34 on uh, window families in our Revit building 8.1 A to Z uh, from uh, DGCAD.